Engineering design is a key component of any engineering education. The Center of Excellence at the University of Illori is set up to provide this vital part of a proper engineering education in Nigeria. The Center of Excellence was opened in May 2019. It is an initiative of the graduating class of 1987 from the Faculty of Engineering who came together to design and set up this center. The official opening of the center was conducted by the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Suleiman. present. Alumni class of 1987, engineering, civil, mechanical, electrical, all of you, and students of the Faculty of Engineering. What we are here today is to commission this place. Is that? Uh, this is my own faculty. This is also the faculty of the Vice Chancellor. Maybe some of you don't know. The Vice Chancellor is a chemical engineer and a civil engineer, stroke water engineer, more or less. Mm -hmm. So this is our faculty. So, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, I thank all the people who have made this a reality. And uh, I want to more or less declare it open. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I to design something? I said I wanted to design a water distribution network. Is it possible for me to design? If it's not possible, I will, I will not commission it. Okay, I declare it open and I wish everybody a fruitful time while you see me. Thank you very much. Thank you. know how to be the best university in Nigeria? Solve the problems of e learning. People have no electricity. People are living primitive life. Change that. You will be better than Oxford and Cambridge. Combined and Harvard. All of them combined together. A lot of external resources were called up in the design and setting up the system for running the center. But how did it all come about? The class of 1987 engineering set visited the university first in 2017 and had a look around the faculty, different parts of the university. And the issue of what can we do came up, we being the graduating class of 1987 from the Faculty of Engineering. A lot of brainstorming sessions were held. We had meetings and then we went back in a 2018 and looked at various options. Meetings with the faculty, talking to students set the tone. It had to be engineering based. The faculty provided space at the NLNG Research Center and work started. But we didn't just jump to setting up an engineering design center of excellence. We had surveyed the school. We looked at what was available. Should we build hostels for students? Should we provide housing, which was one of the key problems that the university had when we visited and is still existing? Should we provide power, hydroelectric power from the dam? What will give the best bang for the buck? But as engineering graduates, we finally settled down in the Faculty of Engineering and said, look guys, we will provide a solution that will improve engineering education in the University of Illinois. Concept selection over, now to the hard work. The faculty gave us a room in the NLNG building. What are we going to do with the room? Okay, next steps. Provide furniture. Make it usable. Provide a place that students can come in. Faculty can come in. Have access to high-speed networking. Have power for bring your own computer. Cooling a whiteboard for brainstorming and the design was crystallized in our head. So the center starting very simple. I think I already talked about it, parametric design, 3D manufacturing. Of course, for any design place, you need a whiteboard. So we have one wall filled with whiteboards and then we have the workstation center where we have, uh, uh, we're running Fusion 360 as a software. Any 3D modeling software will do, but we are going with uh, Fusion 360. We have space for people who want to bring their own computers and notebooks to work in. It's a big step. So last minute stuff, 
trying to get the data connection working. Uh, the guys have been struggling there, even though it's a holiday. Computers are okay. Software, we're loading the software. We're going to have training tomorrow, Friday morning, and then open it to the students. So we can actually do design and manufacture, you know, do a design, test it, and manufacture, which is what education is supposed to be about. So we had the room, we had the furniture, we had the computer, and we had the software. The next thing was we had to train the students, we had to introduce the faculty to our preferred solution, and then we brought in the big guns, resource persons from I know you need more than you might imagine about the best of the world, because I'm the foundation staff of the Faculty of Engineering in Best of the world. I joined the year 1979 as an assistant lecturer, mechanical engineer, and I was there for a total of 18 years. So I'm one of the people that were trained to start the faculty. So what I want, what I'm saying to you is that just know that the first thing, the first part of call in your looking at your future is relevance. The first thing, are you relevant? Are you relevant to your people? Okay, if you are not relevant to your people, and you think you can be relevant in America, you know what you are telling yourself? You are telling yourself it's okay for you to go and be carrying buckets for them there. A country where they, we have energetic youth that can, that can make, uh, this, is the, this may be the golden age of Nigeria, if you do the correct things. And I took a doctoral in information science, specializing in a fairly new field, in fact, to as human language technology. We brought in engineers from various disciplines to give the students a wide range of information on what is possible when they have access to the right design tools. One of the key foundations of the Center of Excellence was that the work being done there, the design training, the design work being done there, was going to be incorporated into the university education curriculum. So faculty staff were an integral part of the design setup and are going to be part of the running of the center. Graduates of this same university graduated from the Faculty of Engineering and Technology. They are the resource persons group that has put all of these things together for our students. It's not only for the students. Today we are having a session of our a set of students to be trained on these future 360 software. We believe that it will be useful as you pass through the training. It will be relevant to your own training too as an engineering student. Engineers don't work in isolation, yeah. so we also give the students a taste of what happens when they leave the university. For a number of years, I happen to be the president or chairman, depending on which version you use, of the petroleum engineers in the NSP. You all know the Nigerian Society of Engineers. I happen to have been in the executive council and I saw basic little things that were wrong with the building of engineering in Abuja. And this is an engineering institution or engineering body. Yes, we were not putting those things together to correct them. Should anybody come from accountancy or from architecture and see that... We had industry experts in the use and application of Fusion 360 to take the students through the actual use of the software and its applications. All the details and qualities that I need it to function with. So now, you will be just a draftsman if we're able to copy uh, things and you don't embed your engineering knowledge in it. So this morning or today, just like we have been saying, it's for you to be able to identify problems and preferring engineering solutions. Show us something on the structural and environmental engineering practice.
It wasn't a one-way street as the students also had the opportunity to ask questions, make suggestions, and general comments on the program. And it's possible for me to analyze two systems at the same time. That is, I could be doing my stresses for beams at the same time and complete thermal stresses with it. That is, two simulations. Is that possible also in fusion systems? Yeah, it's possible. But what you're going to do is. Yeah. Extreme mechanics yeah. is certain port approved. I mean, that is very, very great. I know when I want to take some Autodex certifications, it's always very hard to get certain port centers. So I'm asking, like, do you take Unity 3D, the certiports, um, like the the um, certificate straight, um, exam? Can you take certiports? Into a, a, an interactive way. You, know, you can print out yeah. and actually see the real life application. How does it bring each diagram? Uh, you, you can actually simulate uh, all those things that you see there. Okay, you can actually simulate it. Now, not only that, uh, part of what you can do, it's really amazing. Even the simulated uh, results, in some cases, you can actually print them out. The type of deflection, how much deflection is actually happening. You can actually print them out to see it live. So, yes, it embeds all those things, and even I don't know the full capabilities of Fission 360. I've been using it for quite some time. Yeah, so it depends on the project you are working on for you to actually go in depth into what you want. Okay, guys, today we are doing hands on with the students with uh, Fusion 360. We're having four to a computer to start with, so people are getting hands on getting the basics and they have these are university students so we just started them off with an assignment and um, selection was a lead guy anybody who has used a new two text product hey, come out and show what you can do so what are the next steps the center is ready the computers are there the students are using it and we're working on integrating whatever is done in this center into the day-to-day -day training of the students but there's still so much to be done we need more training for the students so we're organizing a train the trainer starting in june 2019 if you watch this after 20 june 2019 click on the links that i'm going to put below to see where we are in real time students and faculty from the university of loring will be taking part in design competition using 3d modeling software especially fusion 360 and for this we are cooperating with the science to products africa initiative i'm going to put their link right below for you to see upcoming competitions what the center is doing and what are the programs that you if you're university of Illinois or any other university that you can take part in like most projects in universities in nigeria and africa sustainability is the key what are our plans for sustainability we are going to provide a solar power system to make sure that the center runs 24-7, more integration with the curriculum, we are going to get more workstations, and then provide an additive manufacturing space right inside the center so that the students can do real prototypes and see what they have designed. More to come. Welcome to our journey and click the link below if you want more information about this center and other initiatives that we are working on. Thanks for watching and do remember to hit that like button and share this with other people who are interested in improving education in Nigerian and African universities. Thanks again. Hit that like button. Share, share, share. Bye.